Hi guys, Neff here, and today we're looking at a Master Lock number three. This is part of a series done by Lock Pickers United that's going to highlight locks of all difficulty levels. The Lock Pickers United group uh, is a group full of great people, and if you're interested in this hobby at all, I would highly recommend seeking them out on their Reddit or their Discord because they will be happy to help you out. In that uh, subsection of the community, Locks are categorized according to, uh, by difficulty level according to uh, a belt system, kind of like karate, white belt to black belt. And I'm told that this master lock number three is the quintessential white belt lock. So we'll see how this goes today. I've picked locks of all difficulty levels, um, but I haven't been doing it for that long, only about eight weeks. And sometimes locks still give me trouble <laughs> at every spectrum. So let's see how this goes. We'll get her open and get her picked. Master lock padlocks, interestingly enough, are pretty standard for starting out in the hobby, but they have always given me some trouble. I have problems with my tension control, so let's try not to flip this everywhere. There we go. All right. Here's our bidding on the key. Not too bad, but it does have a really low cut up front, so you gotta watch out for oversetting that. Works beautifully. And today, I'm gonna use the tools that I had when I first started picking. I'm not gonna use anything I've bought recently or any of the picks that I've made. So these hooks come from sets that you can find all over eBay and Amazon. Um, pretty standard stuff, pretty cheap stuff. And then the tensioner I'm using there is from a windshield wiper insert that I bought, cut, and clipped. So. Just feeling around in there. Yeah, that one is tight, but I'm just trying to see if it takes a little hit. And we're going to reset. I'm going to try it from the back here. There's a good click on four. Little click on three. Make a click on two. Check them all. May have overset something. All right, let's reset this bad boy again. And I listen for what drops. Looks like I. It sounds like I had two that was set pretty good. I'm gonna ease up on the tension a little bit. I think this is actually a. Let me see how many pins is here, because it felt like I felt more. One, two, three, four. Okay, it was four pins. I'm not getting a ton of feedback. So I'm just kind of feeling for a binder. I eased up on the tension, so a lot of stuff feels kind of mushy in there. All right, I think we got a good click on four. That was a click for me, pulsing tension there to get a good feel on it. I 
was a good click on one actually. I'm trying to hit two without oversetting one. still feels good two I think is set and there we go I had already set four master lock is open that was actually slightly more difficult than I expected and the reason why sorry I just hit the camera is if you look at that pin one, it barely needs hit, but then pin two right behind it needs to go quite high. Um, I really thought that uh, was gonna give me trouble for a lot longer than that. Ugh, this lock is covered in grease. <laughs> um, so, lots and lots of grease on there. I appreciate you guys watching this video today. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the Through the Belt series with Lock Pickers United, Master Lock number three. You guys have a great day.